The Global Water Crisis So, no water left by 2040. By 2040, experts predict that the world may face a severe global water shortage, with billions of people potentially left without access to clean water. This looming crisis threatens not only human health, but also economic stability and geopolitical peace. As climate change accelerates and populations grow, the pressure on water resources is mounting at an alarming rate. Today, we're taking a closer look into the global water crisis, exploring its root causes, the devastating consequences it could bring, and the urgent actions needed to prevent a future where water becomes a rare and precious commodity. Understanding the Global Water Crisis The global water crisis refers to the increasing scarcity of clean and fresh water affecting billions of people worldwide. While water is a renewable resource, the rate at which it's being consumed far surpasses the natural replenishment cycle in many regions. This shortage is driven by multiple factors, including rapid population growth, industrialization, and the expansion of agriculture. With more people using more water, the strain on freshwater sources has reached critical levels. The problem is especially severe in urban areas, where infrastructure often struggles to meet demand, leading to inadequate water distribution. The impact of climate change has only worsened the situation, shifting weather patterns are, reducing the availability of fresh water in some regions while increasing the frequency of droughts in others. Glaciers, which serve as vital freshwater reserves for many populations, are melting at unprecedented rates, leading to long-term depletion. At the same time, rising temperatures and evaporation are further shrinking water supplies. The crisis is also tied to issues of economic inequality. In developing nations, communities often lack the infrastructure to collect, treat, and distribute water efficiently. This leaves the poorest populations with the least access to clean water, compounding existing health and social challenges. As the crisis deepens, the need to address the global water shortage becomes ever more urgent. Fresh water is a finite resource, and its scarcity has already begun to reshape landscapes, economies, and societies. Without significant changes in how water is managed and consumed, the world may face widespread environmental and humanitarian disasters in the near future. Understanding the root causes of this crisis is essential to finding lasting solutions. Causes of the Water Crisis The global water crisis is driven by a combination of climate change, overpopulation, and inefficient water usage across key sectors like agriculture and industry. Climate change has perhaps the most visible impact as rising global temperatures disrupt the natural water cycle. Increased evaporation, prolonged droughts, and unpredictable rainfall patterns are making freshwater resources harder to come by in many regions. Glaciers and snowpacks that traditionally provide steady flows of water are melting faster than they can be replenished. This not only reduces the availability of fresh water, but also disrupts entire ecosystems dependent on seasonal water cycles. Furthermore, severe weather events, exacerbated by climate change, often result in flash flooding that contaminates water supplies, making them unusable for human consumption. At the same time, the global population continues to grow, with estimates suggesting that the world will reach nearly 10 billion people by 2050. As populations swell, particularly in urban centers, the demand for water skyrockets. In many parts of the world, infrastructure has not kept pace with this growth, leading to shortages, poor sanitation, and unequal distribution. In developing nations, large populations lack access to basic water services, and this inequality is becoming more pronounced as resources dwindle. Urbanization also intensifies competition for water, as cities require vast amounts for drinking, sanitation, and industrial purposes, placing further strain on already limited supplies. Agriculture and industry also play a major role in the water crisis. Agriculture alone accounts for approximately 70% of global freshwater usage, with much of it being consumed inefficiently. Irrigation systems often lose significant amounts of water through evaporation or leakage, and water-intensive crops continue to be grown in regions ill-suited for them. In addition, industrial processes, particularly in energy production and manufacturing, require vast quantities of water. The extraction of fossil fuels and the production of consumer goods are both highly water-dependent activities that contribute to the overall depletion of global water resources. Without significant reforms in these sectors, the water crisis will continue to worsen, affecting every corner of the globe. Expected Repercussions by 2040 
the repercussions of the global water crisis are expected to be far-reaching and catastrophic by 2040 if significant action is not taken. Environmental consequences are already apparent, with water bodies like lakes and rivers drying up due to over-extraction and prolonged droughts. This depletion of natural water sources is devastating ecosystems, leading to the extinction of species that rely on these habitats. Aquifers, which supply water to millions, are being drained faster than they can be replenished, threatening long-term water availability for human and animal life alike. Once thriving ecosystems are collapsing, and the loss of biodiversity is a grim indicator of the broader environmental degradation that the water crisis is accelerating. Human health will also suffer dramatically as the water crisis deepens. Without reliable access to clean water, communities are increasingly exposed to waterborne diseases such as cholera, dysentery, and typhoid. Poor sanitation, a direct result of water shortages, will further exacerbate the spread of these diseases, particularly in developing nations. In areas where water is already scarce, malnutrition will become a pressing issue as food production declines due to a lack of irrigation. This shortage of clean water and food will hit the world's most vulnerable populations the hardest, deepening the inequality between wealthy nations with better infrastructure and poorer regions already struggling to survive. Economically, the global water crisis will have a profound impact. As water becomes scarcer, the cost of this vital resource is expected to rise dramatically. Industries reliant on water, such as agriculture, manufacturing, and energy production, will face rising operational costs, which in turn will lead to higher prices for consumers. Food prices, in particular, are projected to increase as the agricultural sector grapples with water shortages. Many economies, especially those reliant on water-intensive industries, may face significant slowdowns, and nations with already fragile economies could be pushed into deeper poverty as they struggle to adapt to water scarcity. The social and political fallout from the water crisis is perhaps one of the most concerning potential outcomes. As countries compete for dwindling water resources, tensions over shared rivers, lakes, and aquifers are likely to increase. Local conflicts, particularly in regions like the Middle East and Africa, have already why emerged as water becomes more valuable than ever. Experts warn that water shortages could lead to larger international conflicts as nations may seek to control water sources by force. By 2040, these tensions could escalate into wars over water further, destabilizing regions already fraught with political unrest. The ripple effects of these conflicts will extend beyond borders, potentially affecting global trade, migration, and security. Global Conflicts Over Water Water scarcity is increasingly becoming a catalyst for conflict around the world as nations and communities compete for access to this vital resource. Historically, water has been a source of both cooperation and tension. But as the global water crisis worsens, the potential for conflict is growing. In regions where freshwater sources are shared across borders, disputes over water rights have already sparked diplomatic and military confrontations. The Nile River, which flows through 11 countries in northeastern Africa, is one such example. E Egypt, which relies on the river for nearly all of its fresh water, has clashed with upstream nations like Ethiopia, where the construction of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam threatens to reduce Egypt's access to the river's water. Similar tensions can be seen along the Tigris and Euphrates rivers in the Middle East, where Turkey, Iraq, and Syria all depend on these waters for agriculture and drinking water yet struggle to agree on fair allocations. The prospect of future conflicts over water is even more alarming. As freshwater sources become increasingly scarce, nations that once cooperated over shared water resources may turn to more aggressive tactics to secure access. Central Asia, where countries like Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, and Kyrgyzstan share rivers that feed into the Aral Sea, has seen rising tensions as water levels in the sea have dropped precipitously due to overuse and mismanagement. Without international agreements to fairly distribute these waters, conflicts are likely to intensify. In regions such as Africa, where access to rivers like the Nile and Lake Chad is critical for survival, competition for water could lead to full-scale conflicts, exacerbating existing political and social instabilities. The Middle East, already one of the driest regions in the world, is particularly vulnerable to water-related conflicts. As climate change accelerates, the region's limited freshwater sources will dwindle further, straining relations between neighboring nations. In countries like Yemen and Syria, internal water shortages have already contributed to civil unrest 
and displacement. With agriculture failing and populations increasingly desperate for water, these conflicts could easily spill over into regional wars. The fear of water wars is no longer a distant possibility, but a looming threat as resources become more contested. The global community faces the challenge of fostering cooperation over shared water resources before tensions reach a breaking point. Possible Solutions to the Water Crisis Addressing the global water crisis requires a multifaceted approach that combines conservation, technological innovation, and international cooperation. One of the most immediate and effective strategies is improving water conservation efforts across all sectors. Agricultural practices, which account for the vast majority of water usage, must adopt more efficient irrigation methods such as drip irrigation and rainwater harvesting. These techniques reduce water waste and ensure that crops receive only the water they need. Similarly, industries must focus on recycling water within their operations and reducing consumption through more sustainable practices. Households can contribute to conservation efforts by installing water-efficient appliances, fixing leaks, and being mindful of daily water use. Public awareness campaigns can play a crucial role in encouraging individual responsibility for water usage, which, when scaled up, can lead to significant reductions in consumption. Technological advancements offer promising solutions to the water crisis as well. Desalination, the process of turning seawater into potable water, has become more efficient and could be a game-changer for coastal regions facing freshwater shortages. Countries like Israel and Saudi Arabia have already invested heavily in desalination plants, which provide a significant portion of their drinking water. However, the high energy costs associated with desalination still pose a challenge, and more research is needed to make this process affordable on a global scale. Wastewater treatment is another critical area of innovation. By recycling and purifying wastewater, communities can create a sustainable supply of water for agricultural, industrial, and even drinking purposes. Smart water management systems, which use sensors and data analytics to monitor water usage and detect leaks, also offer a way to reduce wastage and improve the efficiency of water distribution networks. International cooperation is essential to managing shared water resources and preventing conflicts. Nations must work together to create and enforce treaties that ensure equitable access to rivers, lakes, and aquifers that cross borders. Successful examples such as the Indus Waters Treaty between India and Pakistan demonstrate that even politically tense regions can reach agreements over shared water. These treaties must also account for future challenges posed by climate change and population growth, ensuring that water allocations remain fair and sustainable over time. Additionally, global organizations such as the United Nations can play a key role in mediating disputes and providing a platform for dialogue. International aid for infrastructure development in water-scarce regions can help prevent future conflicts by ensuring that all nations have access to the resources they need. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you plan to take personal steps to improve the situation? Let us know in the comments section below.